Hi everybody, welcome to Reading with Mrs. Degagne. Today I'm going to tell you a story about Marta Enos and her grandmother and the very wise advice her grandmother gave her. This is Big Moon Tortilla by Joey Cowley, illustrated by Diane Strongbow. By the time Marta Enos had finished her homework, the sky was orange with sunset and a fussing wind was blowing across the desert. Marta Enos opened her window and looked outside. In the cookhouse, grandmother was making tortillas for the church supper. She slapped them into large circles and tossed them onto an iron plate over the mesquite fire. Grandmother's big moon tortillas were the best in the world. The head of Marta Enos was filled with the knowing of fresh tortillas. Oh, that sweet, crisp, little bit burnt smell. It went to Marta's stomach, which rumbled and growled, and then on down to her feet, making her toes twitch towards the cookhouse. The legs of Marta Enos could not wait another minute. They were in such a hurry to run to the cookhouse that they knocked over Marta's table. And that is when a disaster happened. The homework papers with their neat writings and beautiful drawings went out the window and onto the breath of the fussing wind. The wind huffed the papers high into the air. Then with a little cough, it spread them over the village. The legs of Marta Enos were sorry for their mistake and they ran out to chase the homework papers, which slipped and slid like kites without string. But the dogs too were chasing, leaping into the air. They barked to each other, a game, a game. In no time at all, the beautiful homework papers were torn and chewed into trash. The second disaster happened when Marta tried to pull a page away from a puppy. Her glasses fell off and she stepped on them. One arm of her glasses broke in half. She did not smell tortillas anymore. Her head was filled up to her eyes with grief and tears as hot as chili peppers. Ruined homework, broken glasses. Marta Enos ran to grandmother. Grandmother left her tortillas and sat down as big as a bed and warm from the cooking. As she smoothed Marta's hair with her flowered hands, she said, hush, hush. If you cry so much, you'll put out the fire. The dogs ate my homework and I can't see to do any more, Marta sobbed. Grandmother rocked her. Little problem, she said, too small for a big rainstorm. We'll repair your eyeglasses. But the tears of Marta Enos still ran through her eyes and nose and made hiccups in her throat. So grandmother sang to her an old fashioned song. And with the healing song, there was a story. When we have a problem, we must choose what we will be. Sometimes it is good to be a tree to stand up tall in the desert and look all ways at once. Sometimes it is best to be a rock, to sit very still, seeing nothing and saying nothing. Sometimes when you have a problem, you have to be a strong mountain lion, fierce and ready to fight for what is right. Sometimes the wisest thing is to be an eagle and fly. When the eagle is high up, it sees how small the earth is. It sees how small the problem is, and it laughs and laughs. Grandmother wound some tape around the arm of the glasses. She put the glasses back on the nose and ears of Marta Enos. That should be okay until we get them fixed, she said. Now. One tortilla before supper? Grandmother pinched a ball of dough and slapped it between her hands. Flip flap, 
flip flap, flip flap. When it was as big and pale as a rising full moon, she dropped it onto the iron plate above the red hot coals of the fire. Ah, the smell as the tortilla bubbled and browned. I have decided, said Marta Enos, her legs doing a tortilla dance, I am going to be the eagle. Grandmother nodded. That is very wise, she said, turning the tortilla over. Fly high and laugh. Then come back and do your homework. I picked this story today because I think it's really sweet and it reminds me of how my mom's hugs and advice would make me feel better well when I was growing up and upset about something. And I love that Marta chose to be the eagle of, and see that this problem was not as big as she originally thought. And I think that's something we all need to remember, to think about being the eagle when we are faced with a problem. So be the eagle today. All right, we'll see you next time on Reading with Mrs. Degagne. Bye.